Okay, another really cool thing that I realize every single day is the more I walk around, the more that I see new things, new people, try to speak a language that I don't know, the more I realize that this exact thing is for me. Trying to figure it out in a new country, exploring a new culture, learning a new language, like this is exactly what I've always known that I loved and I've only been able to do it in short periods of time, like two months, not even two months, like a month in Asia, a couple weeks in Asia, and now, man, I'm living here full time, six months minimum. Man, I wanna do this for the rest of my life around the world, six months here, then maybe somewhere else, or maybe I'll stay here for like a year or two. I love it here, and I really appreciate the opportunity that Stukar gave me, so I'm gonna take hold of that, use it to its fullest extent, football-wise, video-wise, you know, seeing the world-wise, and then I'm gonna try to do it somewhere else and just keep going. Imagine if I could do this for the rest of my life. Who knows, I'm not the guy who knows. And like I said on my Snapchat the other day, some people didn't understand, I, I, I Snapchatted this. I said, you're gonna die, or we're all gonna die soon. And then the next snap was like, anything that you've been waiting to do, do it now. And my whole point in saying that was, we live very short time. 80 years, 90 years, 100 years, like, that's nothing, bro, that's nothing. People have done that for thousands of years. And those people have come and they've gone and now they're buried somewhere in the ground. And that's why I have a hope in something greater than this world. I'll tell you that right now. If you wanna know more about that, DM me, boy. It also causes me to have a passion and exuberance and joy for life. It makes me like realize that I gotta get going, man. If I wanna get stuff done, if I wanna do things that I've always dreamed of, I gotta do it now. I can't wait. Oh yeah, yeah, when, when the time's right, let me do it. The time will never be right, I'll tell you that right now. At 24 years old, I know that, but my dad would always tell me that, and he's older than I am. But you gotta do it right now. If you have something you wanna do, if you have somebody that you have to tell, thank you, or I'm sorry, or I love you, or you wanna go do something that you've always wanted to do, do it now. And don't be embarrassed. Don't worry if people are walking behind you, being like, why are you holding a camera? Say what you gotta say, do what you gotta do. I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna keep exploring, I'll show you everything. See you later. Boom, I'm back at my favorite spot. The U-Bahn entrance right here, look at this. Or the, the, the exit of the tunnel. The end of the tunnel. Man, this is my favorite spot. End of the tunnel at the U-Bahn. I'm waiting for my U-5 back to Leinfelden. And this is where I can think, you know? A little bit away from the crowds as we're back there. Feeling the air out of the, the tunnel. That's what I live for. But I wanted to say this. I saw an interview yesterday of a, I think it was a guy from Cornell, a wrestler, NCAA. I think he won the NCAAs. And he was talking about how he visualized himself winning the NCAAs, and that's important. I reminded myself how much I knew this was gonna happen. The future, you have to believe in it, and believe in yourself, you know? So when I'm out there, I visualize this moment, what would it feel like? And it was all so real. You know, visualization, I let go of the balloon, let go of everything that's holding you down in this life, and that's all I did here today. I visualized it. If you want anything, you guys ask me, how do you be a football player? How do you do this? How do you do that? You have to first believe in your heart. You have to really believe that you're gonna get there. And in, in, like, in collaboration with believing, you have to visualize what it would feel like for you to be playing at USC, for you to be playing in the NFL. You have to, you have to know like, without a doubt that it is gonna happen, man. And like, you have to know that feeling and like how it feels walking out of the stadium and like, believe in your heart that you're gonna win. And that's what he talked about. I'm gonna link the video below and like up here, watch it, it's dope. But my favorite thing that he said was that he is a dangerous man when he's free. So when I'm going out there and they're sending me texts like, bro, it don't even matter what you do. We love you independent of results. How could you not feel freedom to do whatever you want out there? To have no walls, no boundaries. To act simply as the art it is. Because this is an art and we pervert from that. As we get older, it's about money, or whatever it is, fame, I don't care. But when you get back to the kid, the root of it all, why you started in the first place, it was all for the love. Like a little kid, a flow state. A flow state. Maybe not as immature, but a flow state nonetheless, where you don't care about results. And the people who you love, who truly love you, they don't care about those results either. And I'm a dangerous man when it comes to freedom. I'm a dangerous man when I have a freedom to express my heart because I'm crazy like that. And that is true, when you are free from fear, you know, from other people's opinions, free from your own self-doubt, and you can walk around saying, look, I know who I am, I know who I wanna be, I know where I'm going, and I know that it's gonna work. Man, you're a free man. And, and, and it's not even about like becoming a professional or becoming blah, blah, blah. It's about being free in your own mind and being free and really believing, man. Like, 
This is what's gonna happen, man. This is who I am. I believe in who I am. I can see in the mirror that this guy's going for what is right every single day. And if you can do that, you're a free man. You can live peacefully. And that's what everybody wants, man. I can tell you from experience. Peace, peace, peace of mind, man, is above any accomplishment that you can have. You're a dangerous man when you're free, remember that. A dangerous man when you're free, or woman, or mom, or dad, or brother, or sister.